On today's installment of 5 Minute Tones, I want to show you my favorite factory Dyna cab for dialing in clean sounds. At the moment, I am playing a Fender Buddy Guy Strat with gold lace sensors on the neck pickup straight into the Axe FX3. I've got the Band Commander at stock settings and I've selected my favorite clean Dyna cab, which is the 4x12 Rumble EV12L. You can see I've populated cab slots 1, 2 and 3 with the same cab and then I've gone for different microphone choices on each of them. We'll start off with the ribbon on the band commander at stock settings and on the neck pickup of this guitar. This is already a pretty sweet, clean, clean sound. <laughs> quick sample of the other two mic choices in there at the stock settings. Now I really like this ribbon mic straight on the center of the speaker right there. What I'm going to do with it is blend in a little bit of the dynamic mic. I personally really like a dynamic ribbon blend but first I'm going to solo the dynamic mic. I'm just kind of going to find the sweet spot for it. I'm going for something that kind of contrasts that fat warm tone I'm getting from the ribbon. I want something that's a little kind of thinner sounding with a bit of presence so that when I blend them, they kind of juxtapose against one another, they blend together and give me a really nice balanced tone. So let's just play some chords and move the little virtual microphone around. <laughs> going to do is blend that with the ribbon now. Uh, the easy way to do this is mute the other cab in there. Then I'll do the little kind of phaser line trick in there just to smooth out the top end. So let's see how much. Uh, I think I want to blend in the ribbon so I'm kind of adding warmth and fatness to the existing dynamic mic. Let's just bring the ribbon down and bring it up a bit. <laughs> Now, if we go to the Align tab, we can just push these very slightly out of alignment and out of phase. I was asked in another video, isn't being out of phase a bad thing? Not necessarily. By just bringing them slightly out of line with one another, essentially what we're doing is just kind of taking the top end out of phase a little bit and kind of smoothing that out. The bottom end is the thing that we really want to keep mostly in phase. Uh, phasey bottom end is really not satisfying. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to say go 0.5 millimeters on here. Let's have a listen to the difference. That's pretty much it for me. That is my favorite clean blend on there. No high or low cut in there at all. Stock settings on the amp. It works really, really nicely with this guitar. Let's uh, add some fairy dust to this. Let's add a reverb at the end of the chain. I love the Rich Hall reverb for clean tones. So we'll grab that one and maybe a little bit of a delay. In fact, let's add a multi-tap delay and I'll put it on the Aurora delay and just bring the mix down. And I'll add a compressor at the front of the chain right there. Let's just go for the stock studio feed forward compressor. I'll just change the ratio to four. This one, uh, again, kind of reinforces that lovely fat clean thing I've been going for. <laughs> particular amp model, it's pretty balanced across all of the pickups. Uh, of course, we could use this as like a clean platform and add a drive block. I'm a big fan of the griddle cake. Presence down, drive up, you know, kind of set the level maybe a little higher than noon. On the neck pickup, this gives you a great smooth lead tone. <laughs>
exactly what I want when I noodle around with a strat. And as you could see, the kind of overall process is pretty straightforward. Hopefully, this provides you with some insight into how you might want to go about playing around with the diner cabs if you find them a little bit daunting or a little bit confusing. That's how I go about setting them up for a clean sound. If you're going for a big, chunky, heavy sound, I quite like the uh, TV cab that's in there, the 4x12 Marshall tall vintage cab and the recto cabs as well are awesome. Let me know your favorite little cab combinations in the comments section below. If you like what I'm doing on the channel, check the video description as there are multiple ways to support what I'm doing. Any other questions, fire away in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.